Quiet on the shit. Quiet on the shit. No. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be prudent. That's what video editors for. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Quiet on the set. You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia. And no other freaking better place in the world than Deltona, Florida. Here you are, lunch with no other than the dynamic duo, Laz and Jack. And greetings, everybody. This is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the news so you don't have to. That's right. Bringing you our own brand of news right here inside Shrouded Avatar, five days a week for your viewing and listening pleasure. Welcome to today's show. It is Thursday, Thirsty Thursday here, June 22nd, 2017. How's everybody doing? And welcome to the show. Of course, uh, as always, uh, all sorts of interesting stuff going on around town. Uh, Lots of interesting action coming off the forums and uh, all sorts of updates starting to roll out of the boys and girls as we head into lockdown. Uh, Thursday is lockdown day. Next week is release day. And uh, for those QA you, QA server's already up, though. For those of you who don't already know, that's right. QA server is Wh- Which up. means lockdown already happened. Well, I, I don't know about <laughs> that because uh, I took a little peek in there yesterday. And, of course, you took a peek. What? And yeah. uh, you, you know that that's not even close to, uh, yeah, that was just a rough, let's get it out there and uh, get 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 a, get a patch up so that we can start working on this bad boy. Yeah. Now what, yeah. I, yeah. Now what I did not go looking for, which is, uh, man, I can't, can't talk about it, so never mind. Yeah, <laughs> don't don't <laughs> y'all hate when we do that to y'all. We, we, we give you a little teaser yeah. and... <laughs> Talk about it. Can't talk it's about like, it. Yeah, we were both <laughs> here. <laughs> no, it's I had a tiger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. He's pulling his leg. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, I forget. Yeah. These these guys sit around for hours after the show working on playing on music, so Ooh. What, doing all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I mean they're, they're having a good time. No, I, I do have some. I do have some bad news for you. Boxing. Okay, what is that? Bad news. Uh, bad, we well, bad news. There is no stand-up corner from yesterday. There is no stand-up corner from yesterday. Then what did I see? Not acceptable. I didn't see yesterday's stand-up corner. Oh, I know what I saw. It was a little update from Chris. Yes, there. The. There, yeah. there, that was the one that was updated, it, but yes, well, there there's two updates from Chris that we haven't talked about. Okay, but uh, let's happen to start. Well, let's not happen to start. Let's start on the Shroud of the Avatar update page. There's a couple of new items out there for the boys and girls, and uh, of course, this n- new one just came out. The one I was wanting to show everybody, which uh, I just I I had which, I, which I got a laugh. Is- I got to laugh at the at second one listed now because it was first up until this morning. But we'll start yeah, with the... So, questing in Blood River outskirts. Um, so the community live stream is going to be going over the questing in uh, Blood River with Damien Folletto. 
and now I can uh, talk about it. I didn't go looking for the Blood River outskirts in the QA. Now that we've broken the ice, now I can talk you, about you, it. You did not go looking for it? I did not. <laughs> you, you know what I went looking for. And I found, well, you, you, I, fa I found one of the very, very special things I'm looking for. You, you know what I went looking for? <laughs> yes. Dignity. Dignity. The, the one thing that I've already posted on the forums about. Yep. Yeah. I, I have no dignity to go look for Led Zap. Yeah. So why, why would I do that? Respect. Yeah. No, there, there's <laughs> no such thing it's as that. It's broken. Yeah. Yeah. Fix it. Oh, well, you should know you better than tell us what you went looking for. It has to do with the mail system. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you hey and, I, and I you can, can say that. I can say that okay. legit. I didn't say yeah. what it had to do. It oh just has to do with the mail system. We have a mail system. And, Everybody knows and, about it. Everybody oh knows what's being worked on. Not giving and if you have money. access to Def Plus, you can read what I, what I said. Absolutely. So, and most of it's you guys very, in very this room have Dev Plus access, so you can go look at it. Look at it. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, with Dev Plus, we are still restricted from giving away any of the goodies before they're actually released <coughs> or streaming. Uh, for those of you folks who may be new to the whole thing out here, um, if you want to stream Shroud and Avatar, stream away on the regular server to your heart's content, but the QA server is off limits. Um, we yeah. We've gone through this with loads of new streamers, and they scream bloody murder. Well, I can do it. This so yeah, well, when they ban your account for doing it, don't come tell us. We didn't tell you so. You're not allowed to stream the well, Although, I, 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 I don't know of them actually banning anybody. It's generally just a slap on the wrist. Don't well, do it again. Wow. As mo most most people have pushed the limits to the point where you now and you, you well never mind I'm not going to revisit all that yeah well it, 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 if they do turn around and ban you for from it because that, that's the one thing you're not supposed to do is talk about Dev Plus stuff before it goes out because you know what the the QA server is is their data flux yeah it, it's it's a it's very even, it's and more flux inconsistent than the game yeah. Itself. yeah that's right yeah so. They have no problems with anybody streaming the the live client, and uh, it's like we've been streaming the live client for a few years. So, yep. absolutely, yep. even though Everybody game mode only went persistent last year. Okay, so spoilers out in Blood River. The elves have fled for their lives into the forest upriver and invaded the home of an elven hermit who dwells in a ruin deep in the forest. They have set up traps to protect themselves from the vigilantes trap. who have pursued them. Trap. Yep, and are harassing them still. Yeah. Elven soldiers from Virtus are arriving from the north to protect them while airy soldiers are streaming in from the southeast to try and stop all-out war between humans and elves. Yep. They're hoping that the scene goes live in release 43. I'm hoping so as well. Because you know what, yeah, need all to. those stuff to to actually fix the the thing that Laz really really wants to talk about is Rock Me Avatars. Rock Me Avatars. That's right. <laughs> now, now I don't know who came up with the name, but it's it's definitely uh, interesting. I dig it. Is, yes, uh, the, the, the in-game party showcase. I like the throwback, you know, uh, yeah. Well, it would have been funny if uh, we, we could be playing Rock Me Amadeus, like, this well, entire time. You well, know, uh, I'm sure we could have had Scrota, you know, he may even have Rock Me Amadeus sitting in the library there. But uh, nope. Rock Me Avatarist Party Showcase Contest. Uh, this is for those of you who love to have those events and have those gatherings. Whether it be uh, a hot tub gathering right here on the NBNN lot. Or a naked beach party over in Eclipse Maiden's Town on the beach. Uh, she's got a swanky setup out there. Or whether it's one of them... Uh, Nude beaches. Adultima parties <laughs> in the underground. Well, I, I, yeah. un unfortunately, the Adultima party room probably isn't going to be able to be a According to, to the rules and regulations, regulations. shall we, Jack? Some 
I, the, the rules and regulations do cut out some of the fun um, because, well, you, you know what? We'll, we'll go over some of the examples of the Man, themes. Dances, the holidays, classic bar scenes, birthdays, cultural, including marriages and other similar ce- celebrations, seasonal, midnight raves, pool parties, etc. Yeah. You do for your submissions, you must include three to five screenshots of the party scene, a brief one to three paragraph paragraph description of the party scene, including a title for context. Bonus option is having a happy birthday mes- message somewhere to Lord British in the scene because his birthday is coming up on July 4th. As it does every year. And for those of you guys, we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's finish this up first. Yeah. Uh, screenshots guidelines that must be 1920 by 1080. I don't know why. Uh, use the in-game setting sets to their maximum. No, no editing after the fact. Uh, set the stage. Other players and stage items in the shot are great resources. Turn off your user interface by hitting the F9 key. And prize winners. Uh, first prize is $100 worth of store credit. 10 party hats, fire, fireworks, 48-piece box, and five kodos. Second place, $50 store credit, party hats, five of them, 48-piece uh, box, and kodos, three of them. Third place is $25 store credit, three party hats, fireworks box set, and two kodos. Uh, all other valid submissions will receive three party hats and two kodos. Two kodos, yeah. Nice. And party hats have not yet been added to the game. I want the tin foil hat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so That's what I'm talking about rules and guidelines. This, this, this is the sad part. Submissions containing any of the following are considered inappropriate: sexual content or references. We're out. What are you talking about? No nudes. We're out. Yeah. No. I, it's like... It's one, right? Disparaging race, gender, or groups of people. Drugs or alcohol abuse. We're out. I, I think that's almost the entire game because the only drink, <laughs> consumable it, drink man. is alcohol. <laughs> so, so right there, you would actually kick out any of the bar scenes. Hey, come Just on, don't Liz. Chuck a fit. Abuse. I hold up my glass to toast, and all of a sudden my screen goes fuzzy. That's not my abuse, man. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> hey, it's all good. It's all good. I know. I know. I Death or suicide of persons, out. real or fake. Oh. Graphical bugs. I, uh, oh, depicting the state of the game in a negative yeah. manner. Yeah. No purchase necessary. One entry per person. Please see complete rules for other restrictions. This is a skill-based contest. Void where prohibited by law. Affidavit of eligibility. Release of liability. Price accept- acceptance agreement may be required. <laughs> no purchase necessary. Participating. Yeah. You don't have to purchase the game to get into this contest. No. No, you don't have to purchase the the, the contest. <laughs> That's just too funny. No purchase necessary. He makes me laugh, I tell you. <laughs> yep. I don't know. It's pretty hard to get in the contest if you don't purchase the game, dude. That's hey, well, I, I will say <laughs> that if you're in Barcelona uh, next week, you can meet Richard Garriott if you go to Game Lab Barcelona. That's right. That's uh, June so, 28th to the 30th going on out there. Yeah, so that's going to be happening there. You can always go to the GameLab.es website and learn more information. Richard Garriott, the man himself. Yep. Some of the other people are going to be Fumida, Fumido, Ueda, what? Miko, Cody Soja. Boy. Sam Lake, Richard Bartle, Raphael, Colantonio, Hilmar, Vagar, Peterson, nope. Mike Pondsmith, nope. Massimo Guarini, and oh, Rami Ismail, 
Nope. Dino Potty? <laughs> what? Thank you for Hey, it's the guys. Kurt, we're just we're just scrolling just, down oh, the yeah, list. Here. Yeah. Kurt Melcher. I'm telling telling uh, you who else is attending at this conference. <laughs> <Ellen as far>. <laughs> Johannes Roth, Vendor Caballero, Caballero, yeah. Enric Alvarez, oh, Emily Short, Short, John Never Die Jacobs, mm. Emmanuel Marquez, D. Right, obviously. No, no, th these are all the d uh, different people that are going to be speaking at these. Uh, conference for Game Lab. Jack, Jack so a lot of on a tangent, and he's having a little yeah, fun yeah, with it. So <laughs> killing time, kill, kill, killing time, killing time. What are you talking about? I, 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 I know what you're doing. Hey, you got to explain it to me, pal. Hey, hey, no names. No names. I mean, it, it's like you actually actually think that we're going to talk about things like a certain poll that ended up on the official forums. You know, I saw that poll, and I've been laughing the last couple of days over that one. Uh, hey, yeah. I'm just glad that it's actually put up there. Is uh, yeah. well, let's bring that up. Uh, I did not have that loaded, but uh, let's let's go ahead and do that. We can do that. I mean, it's like uh, it, it, there is on the official forums. Um, we have to thank uh, Oplek or I am. Traskanas in his signature for actually publishing a poll on death and decay. Death. And it allows and people to actually decay. vote on whether or not they think that the system is currently too punishing and all laws should be removed from death. Yes. Uh, if you're generally fine with no. the system, but perhaps lighten up on the punishment. Uh, I'm fine with the level of loss, but we would rather it be done differently. Or you're fine with the system. It isn't punishing enough. The loss should be greater. Let's crank see. it up. I am Mas death yes. incarnate. Yes. 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 Crank it up. Crank it up. I am death incarnate. I I, I love that from uh, Doom. And then <clears throat> some loss is fine, but the current system, current type and level is excessive. So currently, there are I mean, 46 votes for it's way too punishing and all loss should be removed from death, and 35 votes for I'm fine with the system. I'm trying to break the vote up, man. I see what they're doing. Yeah, well, see, the problem yeah. is, is that that top one, which is oh, what yeah. he's gunning for, is already outweighed by all the other options. So exactly. that yeah. shit out of luck. Well,. Way too bad. That, some loss is fine, but the current system, current type and level is excessive. Also has thir 13. Those are the top three. I'm fine with the system? What's wrong with those people? Uh, Let's just sit around on a lot or something. They, they, they don't know any better. Well, that or they may not have uh, adventured enough in order to actually notice how punishing it can be, especially with the system that's going to be coming in in release 43, to where, you know what, if you have 110 in a skill, that's double the current XP loss. 101 is double like, right there. Yeah, 101 is as well. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. yeah. And that's why we have a, a, a lot of players that are like just breaking everything down getting all the way down back down to 80 and having massive pools yeah Yay. which uh is a reminder for those of you folks if uh, anybody wants uh to lose and drop a crap ton of skills this is the release to do it in because this is the release i believe chris said you're able to just uh, drop um any skill that's well, 80 or above will drop down to zero and you will get that back into your pool in, well, the best way to test how punishing death is, is to go on the QA server, if you have access, and die. Look at your XP before and after, and see what actually happens. Well, and see, Because that, there's a substantial that's changes. not going to work, okay? Because it doesn't take out of your XP pool. 
It's taking it from your skills. You have too many skills to put up on screen unless you're going to sit down and write every single skill number down or screenshot them to compare. It's a pain in the ass. Well, this also means that I, have not, I would have to die. Absolutely. That's why he's yeah, suggesting you, you do it on the VA plans. Revise your plans here. <laughs> Because if you do it on the QA server, it don't count. Next month, you're all back to normal again. But, uh, moving right along. What? Yeah, I know. Watch my ankles. Any, anything yeah. gets spun there, it's going straight right after me. Yeah. Straight for last, <laughs> which is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it's hilarious. No matter what it is. Yeah, the, 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 the creatures know where the real threat is, as I may look unassuming sitting here in my kill, but uh, they, they know yeah. they Well, they, they, they just want the 8-inch cock, that's yeah, all it is. Well. I mean, because that, that well, chicken is awfully tasty. I was going to say, that's a... Uh, that shriveled thing? Yeah. It's got a little pungent oh. down there. I mean, it's like rubbery. Days, it's all rubbery. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it is a little rubbery. <laughs> Might be a little chewy. Oh. A little chewy. <laughs> Have you been taking care of it? Buy <laughs> it on the floorboard, probably. Oh, Watch right. the tailwind. Or is move it in your car? Right yeah. Where are we going to move to? I mean, it's like, do, do we have anything to talk about today? Sure, we've got Chris. We've this got is, the, this, this weekend's 48-hour live stream. We've got Billy in here to talk a little bit about what she's going to do during the stream. we got all sorts of stuff. No, wait, 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 wait. You, you do realize Billy left right before we went live, right? Oh, well, I asked Billy that yeah, she, while she was here. No, She's like, nope, I'm, I'm changing rooms. I'm out of here. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Oh, I didn't hear that, no. She's like, I'm get GTFO. Scared her At least she's paying attention to the, well, it, of course, I mean, it's, it's Laz and Led Zepp. I mean, what's, it always scares everybody off. <laughs> well, then we don't have Billy here. Um, never mind, but we still have. No, but she is in text, though, so, but stuff. she is not in voice. Is, uh, but we, we do have, uh. We do have that to cover, so. Promising okay, Christmas yeah. stuff. Yeah. For days, days you've been promising Christmas stuff. What? We okay, so. We covered uh, some of Chris's stuff yesterday. <coughs> right now, though, wouldn't you? No, we didn't. Uh, we didn't? We didn't cover Chris's stuff yesterday. Uh, you go back and look at the tape. Uh, other, otherwise, I would have read. Two of Famers. And today was devoured by AMA Plus Tech Talk Tuesday. And for Dev Plus people, QA should be going live. Burning Toad tested their earlier versus current live. His frame rate in our doors in all the places he tried was double what it is on the current version of live. Hmm. Double. I think I need to test that. I think I need to test that. Still not to our target goals, but we're call, going to call this the first significant step to making the frame rate not suck. I think they still have some more work to do, but on his, Chris's high-end CPU, which is an i7-6700K and low to mid-range GPU, AMD 460, $89 on the Amazon. I'm now seeing 30 plus frames in all parts of our doors from, and from any angle and many spots are 60 frames per second. And for those screaming, for the love of God, open QA up to everyone, I think that's still under consideration, but not for this release. Mostly doing due to Star being out for the last five weeks and turning everything upside down. And if you didn't know, Tech Talks Tuesday is still archived on somebody's Twitch stream. Desron Gaming. Yes. See, had, had, I, had I read that stuff yesterday, I would have read it yesterday. No, see, but no, I, I, thought I it, didn't yesterday do Yesterday you read and missed a couple days of updates due to... Hello. At least that's what I thought we did. <laughs> well, um, well, considering that was posted Tuesday at three fifty. Yet yeah, now. Well, today's Thursday, so yesterday was Wednesday, which means yes, we could have read hey. Tuesdays at three fifty. Hello, McFly. Yeah, Wait, where we, did we, you come out? I didn't. I didn't read it. 
<laughs> but anyway. since today is the 22nd and this was posted at 1045 this morning, or last edited at 1045. That's right. I can read this. Let me let me go ahead and refresh it. Make sure there's nothing new. New bullet points. So today it is time to get some shit done, days. Yesterday he got a little bit of work done from home, but he was home dealing with a few house issues, including the AC going out, which is not acceptable in Texas. Oh, no, it is not. Hell, no, it is not. I mean, it is not Phoenix hot, um, but it is pretty damn hot, considering, and the Jack's humidity the is AC like... the AC on these cojones is sweating oh, like yeah. crazy. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, 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 not, it's not the dry heat of Phoenix, where it's like, it could be 110, and you're like... Yeah, I'm going to wear a suit to work. Now, this is Texas, where it is... Um, parts of the state are swamps still. It, well, it's not, it's no parts of the state, state is about to become swamped here in the next day or so. So, uh, I'd be yeah. giving it a heads up if you guys... If you haven't been watching, it's a big-ass storm headed your way. You realize that? No, I'm not, because I don't have a TV. Oh, well... Uh, there's a big ass hurricane <laughs> coming your way, and it's about a day or two out, brother. <laughs> and it's coming right that up. That will bring the temperature the down, middle. man. That will bring the temperature down to yeah. to a nice balmy eighty degrees. You, you think, you I think, can do that. You think the roads get flooded in a regular rain, man? You better get out the freaking canoe, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that one in Florida too? I, I live in the hill country, not in like Houston. Yeah, I know. Is uh, which is the a last sweet. time I was in Austin in a car in the rain. The freaking car was hydroplaning down the goddamn hills because the water was so heavy coming down those uh, hills. For crying out loud! What are you talking about? Last time you were in Austin, the bumps. Those are bumps. You weren't driving. I was in a car for crying out loud. You were going to Hoblop, man. Wait. When was the last time you were in Austin? Yeah, thank was you. Was that Hobble? <laughs> he doesn't even remember the last time. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh. But before we okay, went to so Hobble, we stopped at the offices. I had to drop off some booze to the boys. Had to, you know. But, uh, yes, yes. man, the water was coming down those hills like, forget about it, man. It was like a water park, for crying out loud. Don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I have no problems driving in the rain. You don't drive in the rain. I drive all over the place. Yeah. Uh, I could tell tell you about driving between Houston and Austin in a massive rainstorm and not having windshield wipers. Oh, <laughs> like, that, that, that would be fun. <laughs> 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 windshield wipers you didn't work, window, man. You put your hand out the window. It was, you it was a ten-year-old truck. And you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> Get one of your boys to hang go. out the other side, other window, sitting on the window, that, squeegee. That. Yeah. That or my old Mustang with the, the rotted out floorboard where it's like, if I drove over a puddle, it was raining on the inside. Yeah. Uh, so so we, we, we've okay. learned today that Jack doesn't have a, a TV or windshield wipers. Yes. Well, yes. My, my car has windshield wipers now. They just don't work. It's a transmission. <laughs> it, it, it's like, as my cars hit 10 years old, they just seem to fall apart. Mine are like 20 years old. Two hundred thousand on them. Hey, what you my do car's to your cars, but <laughs> well, I, I live in Texas, where it's like you have to change your battery every two to three years. Oh yeah, no matter what. The heat's, yeah, the heat's brutal on car battery. Oh, you're in California, you're yeah. crying out loud. You guys, yeah, it's, it's hundred and eleven yesterday here. What are you talking about? Well, you What's up with some Northern California? He, he, he doesn't no, know anything. He, he's got a garage. Oh, he's that thing inside. Yeah. yeah. Keeps him in his pants. Okay, so so back back to Chris. <laughs> he he increased the zoom out range for Suck outdoor scenes, not the overall by fifty percent. This he'll be testing this today to make sure it doesn't cause any crazy town behavior. Yeah, yeah. well. And he added a capped attunement value to <laughs> just yeah. to limit just how much attunement helps some things. For instance, for instance, the attunement bonus for Celestial Blessing for how much bonus it gives you is capped, but the duration will use the regular attunement. What? It's the okay. current cap for these things is set at double the bonus, only so planning basically on using this for a handful of beneficial buff types. 
Yeah. So basically, Only English. Is, English. Is, it was, is it was in English. 25, and you have it buffed to 100. You're only going to get the buff on the 25. Is that what it's saying? You, yeah. you know what? We're going to have to like test this out. It, it, it doesn't really make sense. I'll... None of it None. makes sense. Went Shroud Math. Shroud Math. Shroud Math. That's, that's and, all day. And, <laughs> and after, all after much day. teeth mashing, mashing and discussion for release 43, they're going to be adding reagents as the cost to force a choice for longer duration buffs. Also adding these skills to the unlearn for free list. So now buffs are going to cost reagents. That's all right, but how much? Yeah. How many reagents? I, I don't know, but he's adding strength of earth, enlightenment, celestial blessing, heirs embrace, and heirs embrace and dows to the unlearned list for the unlearned for free list. Well, I guess well, those uh, don't have to be over 80, is why he's adding them to the list. Then, okay. Well, I mean, it's like. He, well, for this well, release, skill, skill trees over eighty. Skill trees still need to be refined. Yeah, you yeah, can you can, you can drop, but if you're under eighty, you won't get all that back. So I'm guessing he's adding these, and again, uh, that that list has become just about every skill yeah. in yeah. every tree yeah. these days. So yeah, yeah. I don't know why we just don't make it so that if you don't like it after you've built it up, you should just be able to unlearn it and get that skill back period why do we have to keep going back and forth on this vexador wants to, everybody to know if only there was a place to buy reagents yeah, like the ock and turn and mark them farms oh, get out of here Tim. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, i can show you mark them farms baby blood, blood cotton that's right selling blood cut blood everything that's right you, you like got cheap agents, GFX? Check out the boys over at the Akinshire Markham Farms. Over on TroutMarketplace.com as well. That's Cheaper right. That's the right. Vendor? Shameless self promotion. Oh, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Cheaper prices than NPC? Yeah, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Sounds good. It's 3.9 instead of 4. That's right. 3.95. <laughs> 3.9989. <laughs> Three point nine 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 nine. Yeah. Cheaper than the new PC, man. Plus, like, like, like exactly. unlike exactly. gasoline, nine tenths yeah. percent. Yeah. They're gonna get rid of that bull. <laughs> this is ridiculous. That's how they get rid of these guys. Are, out loud. Don't you know that? Around. They think we're stupid or what? Yeah, well, what you've been paying for the last fifty years? I was like the mainstream media with that extra stupid. nine tenths of a cent on your gasoline. <laughs> Yeah, I, I still haven't figured out the uh, gasoline math. Round up, yeah. When people have demand, like in holidays, they up the price. When yeah, people it's ain't going simple. nowhere, they drop hey. the price. Very exactly. simple math. <laughs> nice of them, huh? You gotta love that deregulation in the mid '90s. Gotta love this shit. Early '90s, yeah. What uh, am I looking at right now? I don't know. I'm watching the turkey roam around on maybe, the screen. There. Maybe, maybe I'm watching videos from the 1960s on dying things. Uh, and remember, that is a not safe for work video. I was, I was gonna say, is that the one with the uh, '70s bush in it? That when you <laughs> that one is it was funny too. <laughs> yeah. Turkey. Now I see uh Cardin and Charlotte uh, from making a weekly visit to the set. They're, they're they're coming high to make sure that you completely uh, mess up that quest line. Yes. Although yeah. a car uh, see I as far as Cardane, I I don't, I don't really like Cardane. I mean, he he's kind of a dick. Um I prefer, uh, was it Samuel? Samuel. Samuel. Yeah. I, I prefer Sam. Sam is a much cooler spirit talker. Yeah, well, you know. 
Hey, you give him a couple drinks, and he'll stumble his way through a quest line. Well, I, I thought, mean, I thought that was Cardin. Yeah, he's, uh, he was pretty uh, chummy to me when I gave him a couple mugs of ale. No, no, Cardin is the the asshole. Um, Samuel is the drunk asshole. <laughs> I see. <laughs> yeah. And I and remember, everybody's an asshole. Yeah, where is this little girl's mommy, and where is the Solus key? Yeah, um, well, her mommy's her in mommy Solus Bridge. Soul Town. Yeah, in Soul Soul Town. Town. Yeah, she was supposed to be in Solus Bridge. She took yes. a little detour. Uh, got to the in being in lots. The rift. Yeah, yeah, she she just likes to hang out, man. I mean, let's have to get, get her away. We don't need to know about your your paneled <laughs> cart. <laughs> Offering a little girl some free candy. Jeez, what kind of man are you? Well, she's she girls like candy, man. What's the matter with you? Why would you deprive her of some candy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, and, and Gix wants everybody to know that Cardan is her babysitter. That's right, yeah. To protect the spirit talker. like uh, Led Zepp out there. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, see, Led Zepp would pull up in the Nice Dreams ice cream truck, though. That's, uh... <laughs> Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams are made of this. No, uh, you never know Nice that. Dreams? Come on. I know it's Zepp. Like that. It's dumb. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing it. They're doing the business out of the ice cream truck, yeah. Edibles. I love it. it. I love the push-up pops. Great stuff. <laughs> nice. That's Billy Bar. It's like we know what the push-up pop really is. They <laughs> rock it. Red Rocket. Red <laughs> Rocket. Alrighty, moving right along. Move it. Let's talk about uh, the upcoming 48 hour streamathon. How about that? Okay. What do you want to talk about? 48 hour streamathon. I mean, Arius isn't here, and. But Thex is. Thex is here. Are. Oh, yeah, Thex. You get to tell everybody about the 48 hour streamathon. Sweet. What are you doing, man? I'll tell you. He can do it. That's yeah, the text level shit. Man. Yeah, yeah, that's why yeah. You have eight minutes. Oh, no. I'll take 12. <laughs> yeah. 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 Telling yeah. him he's got eight minutes. It's like giving him a yeah. half hour for yeah. crying out loud. Yeah. 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 Okay, you have five minutes. Yeah. All right, I'll right, make it yeah. ten. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, we got a really cool thing that's going on. We're doing a 48-hour uh, streamathon that uh, Arius here, uh, as we may know him, Dwayne Klotz, uh, has really helped us put together. Uh, we're, we have, I think, close to about a dozen streamers that are going to be passing the baton over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. Um, starting uh, Shroud of the Avatar. Yeah, starting midnight, uh, 12.01 a.m. Saturday, which yep. is right after midnight Friday, top of the morning Saturday. Yep. Going straight Arius through. is pulling the night shift on Friday. <laughs> And uh, throughout the week, we're going to be a uh, weekend. We're going to be showcasing uh, the game. We're going to be giving away prizes. We're going to be pushing the uh, Just One Life uh, community cause to uh, support the Trevor Project and help prevent LGBTQ suicide. And uh, we hope you know, we're planning on doing something special on Sunday with the MBNN boys here. Uh, we'll have some more details on that. Um, so, yeah, it'll be fun. I think everybody should pop in and out here on the Discord channel. Say hi. You know, I think most of the streamers, Laz, are going to be util utilizing the NBNN Discord. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, Arius has been uh, just phenomenal. I got to give him major, major props for all the work he's done and getting all the streamers together. And I've got the graphic up. Uh, of course, Arius is going to be streaming. We're going to be here. Elena Strongbow, that girl, Billy. Uh, Marquee Dragon, uh, uh, just a whole bunch of people are going to be in and out of here. Of course, this is not a complete list. Uh, there's going to be some special guests popping in and out while we're doing all this. And, of course, uh, these guys have been set up to, uh, they'll either going to be multi-streaming, which means they'll be streaming on their own streams as well as streaming to the NBNN feed. Or uh, if they can't manage that, which most of them have already... Uh, 
already set up to do so most of that will be directly right here on our stream and uh, otherwise we will use the host and host them during their their portion of the show for those guys who uh, who don't have the bandwidth or the uh, power to pump that out but uh, right now we know that uh, a couple guys are already set up to do this uh, Marky is one Arius is another of course we don't need the setup to do that we're already uh, we're already here and uh, Arius has got all the details that you need he's already sent the emails out to the streamers who are signed up and uh, they have the instructions in hand so it's going to be a real interesting event not, not you know to say the least uh, going to be great to see all these streamers coming together for the just one life community cause and of course uh want to tell them about the uh the prizes or do we we, are we holding off on that still yeah i don't want to announce anything yet until we get the final numbers in for all the stuff that we're going to be giving away but uh we'll be posting uh some information on the I, forums i think uh, it will that. be fair to say though that for those people who donate $25 or more during the stream will be entered for a grand prize, which is going to be a grab bag of goodies. Is that fair enough yes. to say till we nail down the actual physical prizes? Yep, yep. We have some, some great sponsors here that we'll announce uh, uh, maybe tomorrow if we can get the list finalized today. Yes. Um, yeah. that, that are coming in to help us out and uh, giving away some good stuff, and we really appreciate that. Uh, you know, it's not about getting stuff when you give, but it's always fun to get stuff when you give, right. and that's what we're going to do. Um, so yeah, I, I would just recommend everybody come to our spot on the forums, the uh, streamathon, in the make a difference section of the forums. Uh, Arius posted a full schedule of when everyone's going live, and I think it's going to be really fun this weekend being able, being able to pop, pop in and out of the MBNN Discord and just saying hi and you know having fun with whatever crew's running the show at that time and giving updates on uh, what's going on with the cause and the funding we're raising. It's, it's going to be an interesting experiment. There's going to be people in and out of here all weekend so uh, of course make your way over to the nbnnwrfb discord and come join us throughout the weekend and again uh, for a donation of 25 dollars or more you will be entered into the finale raffle which uh, will be a grab bag of uh, digital prizes physical prizes uh, for the grand yep. prize winners and uh, of course don't forget with the donation of 25 dollars or more you automatically get the cloak for the just one life uh, yep and community. that will be released uh, next week uh, with the uh, r43 release so just for that donation you're automatically going to receive the cloak and you will be entered for a chance to win uh that big grand prize which will give you those details hopefully we'll have those by tomorrow before we go into the stream uh, late Friday, early Saturday morning. So great stuff and happening Laz, out there in the just community. Just for uh, clarity, Laz, uh, I don't believe anybody needs to have an invite to go into the Discord on NBNN, correct? Um, no, the discord.me slash NBNN, or of course uh, they can go out to the NBNN or WRFB dot websites, click on the Discord links, and uh, it should whisk them right on in. They don't need any special permissions, just click on it type your name come on in perfect and of course uh, we'll be screaming it out throughout the weekend we'll i'm sure we'll be sharing links just in case people need them um but again the easiest way is to use the discord.me slash nbn in your web browser and if you have discord installed it'll open up discord if not it'll use the web app and come on in we do suggest that you get the app though the app is a lot yeah, easier makes to a use. Lot. Yes. Oh yeah. And but, we've been using it for over a year, and uh, we have had very, very few problems with it. It's been a pretty damn awesome app for us. I tell you what is, uh, and I, I just, you know, you you remember when we first uh, made this move? I was not too keen on making a move over to it. It wasn't a proven. <laughs> concept it wasn't anything but i realize now that i look at my my registration number of 2000 and what is it 41 or 81 well that's that that's kind of a fake number i mean that four digit number that's at, on your name it's not real well it's not your actual 
user ID and number. So they're, they're into the millions now. So you tell you tell me, like, ICQ numbers, I'm assuming that that uh, is the same. But anyway. I mean, uh, that, that's like, what's mine is, profile? You're, you're right down there, too. You, you got a very low number. Where? I got your name in chat. And it's right in your name. Boom, 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 boom. 3,825, is it? Or is it 8,825? Don't know. Right next to your name, for crying out loud. I don't see it. Maybe I'm hiding it. That number, right next to your name. 8825? Mm -hmm. Yep, something. Yeah, he don't know. He don't care. He don't, don't care. Ca he don't care that the set's burning down behind them. Yeah. Show. No. Me. Why would I? <laughs> why? Why would I? I mean, it's just a bunch of chickens out there. I. Mean, I'm just glad it's not a bunch of sheep out there, or else Led Zeppelin. I thought it was a turkey be. shoot. That's what it looked like. It is a turkey shoot. <laughs> for Led Zeppelin. A whole new meaning to turkey shoot. They're all yeah. dodging. They're dodging everything. <laughs> the turkeys are dodging. <laughs> yeah, yeah the turkeys are dodging Led Zepp's arrows. <laughs> well, it means Led Zepp's going hungry tonight. I tell you. <laughs> Fix that list. <laughs> yeah. Fix that list. Oh, the list has nothing to do with that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's dodged. At, uh, you know. just, just because he works at Port Alarm doesn't mean that's his wheelhouse. Uh, oh wait and i'm surprised list isn't pvp flagged or else somebody might i was might just, be gonna, attacking I was him just right gonna now. say somebody I know. Just, uh, PvP in this. I know. just walked up look like he's looking for a fight right i know it's like <laughs> oh <laughs> but anyway but he's, right he, he's got the he's got the wrong hood on for the kabbalist hood I haven't looked at him. Oh, there it is. What is he doing? What is that action? He is playing with himself. Who? Um, he's he was eating. Egg and stew. Is that what it is? He's taking yeah, both he hands eating. and nothing in his hands. So. Yeah. He, he was yeah, eating. Yeah. Wait, you can look at his. He was eating the obsidian venison loaf. And yeah, very surprised. I was just trying to bring him up, but uh, I cannot yeah. target him for some reason. Cannot target him. Yeah. Click, 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 well, click, 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 click. Can't target the man. I, I, I kind of want the uh, food eating animation to go back to what it used to be. What's up? Well, I, one hand. I, I, I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to know what it was. Yeah, yeah. if you knew what it was, then you'd know what it was. <laughs> so, it's that time again. It's time to talk about the NBN app. Don't forget, you can download that off uh, for all of your electronic devices off of the appropriate stores. That includes the Amazon App Store, the Apple iTunes Store, or the Google Play Store. <laughs> Just do a search for NBNN or Shroud of the Avatar or Soda, and you should be able to see the NBNN community yeah, app. Three stores, right? Yeah, and it's got all the, the the best links for everything that you need for Shroud of the Avatar, including the NBNN calendar. That's right. Which is yeah. available on NBNN.info. Just it's click on the calendar button. For yeah. Soda Map, Soda yeah. Hat, hey. Radio Stations. Our podcast, all out there in the Soda app, all kinds of stuff, and it's yeah. free, folks. F R E E free. Go get your hands on it. <laughs> this is a a, a last spelling, so it could be spelled F R I E. I, I mean, it could be F R I E S. Yes, just free F R E, right? 
Don't so forget, it. all times on the community calendar are Central Standard Time in the real world, but we prefer to refer to it as Nude Britannia Time. Nude and since it, Laz has aggregated all of the calendars that he could find and put them here together for you, if you have a public calendar and you want it added, just email news at nbnn.info and Laz will eventually get it added. I will. Yay. And for all those calendar submissions, nudes Yay! at nbnn.info. That info? Yep. To be considered mm-hmm. for the uh, end of year calendar. Yep. Today at 12 and 6, and 12 and 6, around the clock, two idiots interpret the news on WRFB. So you it's don't you have to. Idiots. A little show called Lunch with Us. It's yeah. At 7 p.m., if you're interested in some PVE, you can join the Kays and Phoenix Fire in Malhari for the Phoenix Republic PVE Nights and go explore a little bit of everything at 7 p.m. on WRFB. WRFB. All right, the 70s at 7. At 8 p.m., DJ Nurse Justin's taking over the airwaves. Hello, Nurse. I know she's she's there to make sure that your ear holes are gently massaged and everything's coming out of them appropriately for unmedicated part schizophrenia part do 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 not un do do at 10 p.m. like yeah on avatars radio temper tantrum tea days may or may not happen. Don't know if Amber's made it back yet, but we should get an update on that eventually. And the final event of the evening is on WRFB. WRFB. And that's the record room. And that's our community calendar for this June 22nd in Shroud of the Avatar. Shroud of the Avatar. With the proper PV penis. Hey, there was no yep. PV penis today. Awesome. Oh, is there a PV penis on set? No. Penis. Nope. Yeah, yeah. show you. Not happening. Yeah, yeah. Plus. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, plus. <laughs> <laughs> Never here, mind. Alrighty. Well, that's going to bring us about that time. Let me, uh, actually, I have something else there I got to move over while I'm thinking about You've it. You've got to talk about SodaCon. I got all sorts of stuff loaded up here. Going to try something a little new today. Websites. You know, all of our sponsors have websites. Did you know that? Most of our sponsors have websites. Something. Something like that. That's right. This is your, your section of the show hey, there, yeah, Laz. I'm, I'm loading uh, it technical up. difficulties here? No, no, it's no technical it's difficulties. We're bars. just loading it up, getting it ready for the oh. folks. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you weren't prepared. I mean, you, well, you act you, like you have a script for this stuff. Like, like, if you knew what I had up here, yeah, but you don't, so don't worry about it. You sit back, relax, I got this. I have no clue, That's so... Bang right. bros. <laughs> He's got the bang bros up. But yes, yeah, SodaCon <laughs> Austin <laughs> 2017 <laughs> coming up uh, here in October. Of course, uh, we just got the announcement that uh, we do have uh, the, the selection, uh, which is going to be at the Spring Hill Suites by Marriott. Uh, reservation links are located on the forums, as you can see here in front of you. Of course, uh, that'll bring you right out here to the SodaCon Austin reservation uh, check-in. This is where you can go and get uh, reservations in the hotel where we're going to be having uh, most of the function. Uh, again, the whole of SodaCon is not being held in the hotel, people. Um, there's a lot of information that people just don't seem to be getting right off the bat. And, uh, you know, the important part, which is going to be a couple panels, are going to be in a hotel. Um, the other stuff is going to be off-site. So, um, for those people who are thinking that every little thing is happening in the hotel, that is not true. Um, very first and foremost. Second off, time is running out for those of you people who have been waiting. Tickets 
go off sale August 10th. So you're not going to be buying tickets in mid-August. You're not going to be buying tickets in September. And you're definitely not going to be buying tickets in October. The reason why this was opened in January was to give people plenty of time. So time is running out. Tickets are closing soon. If you haven't got your tickets, you better get them now because you're not going to get them last minute. And that's all I'm going to say on that. That's all that's I've all. got on that one. Of course, don't forget our other sponsors. The Novia Lottery. NoviaLottery.com happening out there. Uh, every Sunday, uh, Ace So Wonder running that lottery for you. And for the latest information, you can go out here to NoviaLottery.com and find out the uh, latest draw. Draw number five is uh, 500K. You can get your tickets in mind when just east of, ni- east of Nightshade Pass. And again, those drawings are held every Sunday. The pots do roll. He does give you all sorts of other stuff on, you know, going on out there. Our good friends and folks over at the Britannian Mining Company want you to come check out Market Road, located in the Quell region in Black Rock Cove, right next to the Etzeter Mines, for your mining convenience and pleasure. For your shopping convenience, all the vendors have the same prices on all those goods you're looking for, so you don't need to shop around from vendor to vendor. You can go down and get silver from the same price from all the vendors on the road. Great stuff going on out there. Let's not forget the boys and girls over at the Ockenshire and Markham Farms who don't have a website, but you can check them out over on ShroudMarketplace.com. That's the closest thing to a website they got. Of course, our good friend Jacob White over at SodaMap.com. SodaMap is the place to find all your travel routes, travel needs, all your... uh, trade routes for those of you people who don't know how to make a trade route or what a trade route is it's something you do in game it's not actually an activity you know if you go buy something in one place and sell it in another place that's a trade route folks but of course Uh, course course so for all your travel needs uh, check him out relicsbyrill.com relicsbyrill for all your licensed shrouded avatar swag all sorts of great stuff from t-shirts to buttons to patches to uh, bumper stickers and much, much more. You can uh, check out Relics by Rill. Go on relicsbyrill.com. And if you want to save a little money when you're out there, you can use the promo code NBNM when you check out relicsbyrill.com. You'll save 10% when you check out. And of course, last but not least, the good folks over at the Shroud Marketplace, shroudmarketplace.com, for all your virtual vendable needs. Hey, Shroud Marketplace is the place to go buy or sell anything Shroud of the Avatar related. Buy anything that is anything from accounts to game gold to crowns of the obsidian all the way to services anything and everything can be bought or sold on shroud marketplace currently there's over 52 players that are vendors on shroud marketplace they're selling their wares directly to you the consumer That's everything right. you want yes anything and everything it's Grota's music service five bucks for an hour and of course makes uh, you holler that, that's that's right, our man. own Scrota playing in the background right now. That's Scrot. Well, we, well, it's it's Scrot, but it's with the, the, with, the, with the with the inclusion of list on there, is it now Scrot off? Scrot list. Scrot list. Scrot list or Scrot off? I don't know. Stop off. I, I don't know, but it, it needs to be included on Shroud Marketplace. Don't forget, anything and everything can be in, bought or sold. Some of the newest vendors, Rhiannon's, uh, Creations, Fire Moons Emporiums, Asos Wonders. And don't forget, you can always check out things like anything if you're looking for a pot town lot if you're looking for a stripped benefactor account if you're looking for obsidian tower homes yeah. anything and everything lots are up for sale lot deeds yeah i know a little bit of everything 
vendors get to set their own prices and sometimes you know what you can get things really cheap game gold and game don't gold. forget a lot, a lot of these vendors including myself have a make an offer button so if you don't like the price you see out there you yes. there's a make an offer button you can click make an offer and say hey would you take this much would you take my sheep yeah and then eventually you'll you'll get yes or no to Man. I'm not making an offer. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for that. <laughs> uh, and and, and yeah. Zep says you're not taking his sheep from him. We'll trade so, uh, you, you, you know what? It's time for us to actually start heading out of here. And th we have to thank the most important people around here. Thank you guys for hanging out yes. with us on Twitch, YouTube, listening to us in on WRFB, and hanging for those of you hanging out oh. with us in Discord. Thank you. Radio Free Britain. That's right. Yeah. We got to get out of here for today, folks. Uh, of course, we love you guys. We love what we do here. And, of course, you know, we just love this game. Uh, we try and bring you all the latest, greatest stuff. Keep you updated on what's going on. The hottest topics. The not-so-hot topics that people don't want to talk about. And all the stuff in between. But until next time, stay tuned, NBNN, for more news, sports, entertainment, crazy wild happenings, the latest hijinks, and shenanigans right here on the NBNN lot five days a week. I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. Stay tuned for more. We'll be back tomorrow with the Weekend Roundup. Yay. Bye-bye, everybody. Do you want screwed off or screwed